Hey, what can I help you with? How's it going? Um, I got this harmonica. My grandfather used to play it all the time. I think it'd be kind of fun to make Chumley stick his lips up to it and play it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they definitely have to sell it after that. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to see what I can get for my old harmonica. It's got some pretty neat stuff on it, and I don't know what it's worth. I'm hoping I could get a Rolex out of it, but I might be reaching a little high for it, but we'll see. So did your grandpa play a lot, or? Yeah, I remember him playing it by the campfire all the time. He always had it in his pocket. Works great. <laughs> I don't know how to play, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know anything about it? Not really. Okay, I've actually seen a few of these before. That right there, that really seriously ugly dude, <laughs> is owner, the guy who owned the company. <laughs> wow. Who made the harmonicas, and they also made accordions. Just about any instrument with reeds. This harmonica is beautiful and it's in amazing condition for something that's 90 years old. Honers were some of the first harmonicas imported into the U.S. And old ones like this with the Zeppelin on the front of them are highly collectible. And this dude right here is Baron Von Zeppelin. That would be the blimp part of it. No, Zeppelin. There's a difference between a blimp and a Zeppelin. Really? Yes, when they talk about a Zeppelin or an airship, it's a rigid frame. A blimp, it does not have a rigid frame. So if you take all the air out of a blimp, it will just, it's just basically a balloon. So why would the um, Zeppelin be on the harmonica? Because this one was made in 19-teens to the early 20s. Yep. Zeppelins were the coolest thing in the world at the time. They really were. Mm -hmm. And they were really considered the future of flight. They didn't think planes were going to be circling the world. It was going to be giant Zeppelins going everywhere, and that was the future of travel throughout the world. Right. I love the fact that this harmonica shows a Zeppelin on it. It shows how popular they were at the time. Of course, the Hindenburg blew up in 1937, and that was the end of the Zeppelins. Do you want to sell it? Yeah, I want to sell it. Okay. Um, basically, if it didn't have the Zeppelin on there, it'd be worth 10, 20 bucks. Uh, this one, I'd give you like $200 for it. Can you trade for a Rolex? No. <laughs> you can't, uh, can't go 300? No, I'd go 200 bucks on it. 250? I mean, the thing's worth like 250, 300. I'm gonna make 50, 100 bucks off you. I'll tell you what, man. I'll do 200 bucks and a fake Timex I have in the back. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. All right, let's go do some paperwork. Okay, come on. Yeah, I only ended up getting $200, but at least I talked him into a Timex. Someone will get some use out of that uh, harmonica, I think. <laughs>